This is Cassia614 welcoming you to episode 5 of the Life Abridged Winter Countdown. This episode will contain moments 20 through 16, as well as character number 4 on the character countdown list. Uh, so without further ado, let's do it. In this moment from Pokemon Abridge 12 by Pokemon Abridged FTW, we see a rather less benevolent approach to how to deal with your Pokemon. Ah, ah, ah. You are so fabulous, I could just pinch you! Krabby, the useless Pokemon. Goes well with garlic and butter. Boil at 480 degrees for best taste. Also easily distracted by sticks. But really, how much worse is that? than capturing these animals and forcing them essentially into slavery for you. Great messages to teach to young children. In this moment from Code Geass episode 4 by uh, Geass, T-A-S, we see that Detard's past contains some rather seedy elements. Well, you two are much more sensible than my last job. Well, what was your last job, Ponytail? Hmm... Oh, yes. Pour that syrup all over. I can count all the rings inside. Oh, I feel so alive. Uh, adult agricultural entertainment. Uh, all according to plan. Kira would be proud. That is, if this were pine cones gone wild. Sir, this isn't the midnight pollination hour. This is a public execution for Suzaku Kururugi. Oh, well, this is less fun. As anyone who watches the original Code Geass knows, uh, Dietard is a big risk taker. And now we finally see why he's so used to going out on a limb. <laughs> Somebody stop me. In this next moment from Sayuki 3 by Sayuki Abridged, we see creative word replacement that would even put Bagel to shame. Hi, I'm that young boy you ordered. Sanzo! Wait, I'm not gonna fuck him. What the hell was that? Did you just say hug? No. So we can't say rainbows! Puppies! What the f cupcake is going on here? Oh, that? That's just the FCC shield surrounding our temple. Okay, you'd think that in temples people would know enough not to get shields or any sort of protection from the devil. In this moment, from part two of the Gantz Abridged Finale by HBI2K, we see a moment where authors feel compelled to intervene because their characters are just a little out of hand. <laughs> Who's my bitch? Say it. Say I'm Kwan Yin, goddess of mercy, and I'm Say Sakuraoka's bitch. Meanwhile, in the writer's room. Oh man, that was my favorite boob. Blech. You lose. For the record, no, I don't like to feature moments that I figure heavily in, but that author inclusion stuff was way too good to pass up. Uh, plus, I kind of wonder what they actually were saying. In this moment from Last Exile 13 by Unwardle, we see that even she who must be obeyed has her weaknesses. Do you know the whole Rosebush Jesus thing was actually his idea? Something about a true artist having to suffer for his craft. Talk about pretentious. The man is absolutely insufferable. You know you love it. I'll tell you what I love, you tall, dangerous, dark-eyed, sexy piece of ass. 
Conveniently restrained and totally at the mercy of my every naughty... No, no, no! I'm an intelligent, independent, career-driven woman, and I do not need a man, least of all you, to complete me, no matter how good you may look in that dark, hunky, perfectly fitting black uniform that I just want to tear right off your sexy body. Oh, who am I kidding? Take me now, you acrimoniously misunderstood wordsmith, you! Now you're just on vacation. Yes, Unmortal. Yes, she is. Who wouldn't be at that point, though? I mean, okay, okay, we're gonna move on. And now we are back to the character countdown. We are up to character number four. Now, this fourth character on my list pretty much makes it up here because he can deliver the most withering lines in a severe and harsh deadpan that somehow manages to be just as hilarious as the off-the-wall antics of many of the characters around him and pretty much most of the characters in all of the abridging world. Take a peek at this and he'll explain his own shtick himself. Even if it were possible to make some bastard child from the combined genetic materials of Miles Davis, Kurt Cobain, and Sephiroth, the results still wouldn't be half as cool as me. So that is character number four, Alex Rowe, from Unwortles, Last Exile Abridged. So with that, that concludes episode number five of the Winter Countdown. We hope to see you back here for episodes six through eight, where we'll be counting on the top 15 moments of December, January, and February. Hope to see you then. I'd rather be nine people's favorite thing than a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Nine people's favorite thing than a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Those nine people will tell nine people. Then we'll have 18 people loving the show. Then 18 people could grow into 525,600 people all loving our show.